so guys welcome back to my episode and uh, today you're traveling up with me uh, to the namgongo shrine here in uganda and it's always on third june uh, every year in uganda whereby ugandans or the christians uh, around the world or mostly uh, in east african africa always come in uganda at namgongo shrine to commemorate uh, the death of the ugandan martyrs who were killed uh, earlier years back by a kabaka or a king in uganda and these martyrs who were killed uh, they were uh, 22 catholics and uh, 23 anglicans uh, converts to christianity in the historical kingdom uh, of uganda now part of uganda who were executed uh, between uh, 31st january uh, 1885 and 27th january uh, in 1887 so guess what who who killed or who was behind uh, the killing of the uganda martyrs uh, those years back uh, in the 1887 there was a king in uganda that was kavaka mwanga the second that was the king of uganda who ordered the execution of uh, the killing uh, of these uh, uganda martyrs and guess what I'll be moving with you guys together to see that I'm showing you how people come all, all over the world to come and celebrate uh, this day here uh, in Uganda at the Namgongo Shrine here in Kampala, Uganda. And uh, the first martyr to be killed was called uh, Yusuf Rugarama and then followed by Nuwa Serwanga. And then the third one was called Mako Kakumba. These were the first uh, three Ugandan martyrs who were executed on 31st January 1885, just a year after Kavaka Mwanga II had succeeded his father. And these were the really, really the first three Ugandan martyrs to be killed at this uh, place that i'm trying to show you whereby people are coming uh, to commemorate uh, these uganda matters and guess what people do come uh, from different countries uh, let's say from ethiopia uh, let's say from uh, kenya uh, let's say from rwanda uh, let's say from chigali they always come to this place to commemorate the death of these uganda matters because they always have uh, a faith in themselves and guess what most of the people who come to this place they always come working for like let's say one month before uh, this event uh, is celebrated let's say if it is to celebrate uh, on june so they have to come one month back before june so meaning that they always come walking slowly by slowly slowly by slowly they spend one month in the way to reach at this place and meaning that this shows that they really have a faith and it shows that they really believe in the almighty that he can make them achieve everything if they sacrifice by walking So I had to reach on this point whereby I was feeling thirsty uh, and I had to first quench my thirsty uh, with uh, a glass of uh, juice. There was a uh, mango juice as you can see guys and uh, the fact is, you know, 
it was uh, it has been really uh, so hard for me to reach at this point but still i have to continue forward because people are really very very many here and then actually i'm very surprised because this is my first time uh, uh, coming to this place or coming to such an event at namgongo shrine actually i'm very very uh, like you know surprised to see that a lot of businesses are going on a lot of businesses are running through let's say these guys here they have juice dispensers they are trying to serve me some juice and you can see people around are selling clothes you can see people around are selling mandas people around are selling chapati people are selling cakes people are selling ice cream guys this is like a market day but as well as an event to come